the Recognition Prime Decision or RPD model. It's a model that represents how decisions are made in natural environments, involving factors such as time pressure, high stakes, and imperfect information. Developed by Dr. Gary Klein, the model was initially created by studying firefighters. At the time, it was thought that even under time pressure, firefighters must be generating at least two options, comparing option A versus option B. But what was discovered is that 80% of the time, firefighters were not comparing any options. Instead, they used pattern matching. When responding to a call, they experience the situation as it changes. They use experience gained from previous calls to help identify the situation as typical, recognizing key aspects such as plausible goals and relevant cues. If what they expect to happen lines up with prior experience, this allows them to rapidly size up the situation and quickly move to take action. Still, a firefighter might lack experience, leading to aspects of the situation that are unfamiliar. Or maybe something they expect to happen is violated, such as pouring water on a fire, but the fire grows even stronger. When atypical or unexpected, the firefighter has to reassess to seek out more information to gain clarity in order to be able to evaluate a course of action. And this is the second process. Recognition allows the firefighter to then evaluate a course of action, mentally simulating if it will work. This does not compare options, rather it is using prior experience to immediately recognize a workable or good enough option. If option A worked on a similar call, then option A will most likely work again. Or maybe it'll work if it is slightly modified. Only if option A will not work and cannot be modified, does the firefighter move to consider a different option. In this sense, evaluation of action is a sequential rather than concurrent process. Fused together, pattern matching and evaluation of action combine to create the overall model. Together, implementation either leads back, effectively updating the situation, or it leads to resolution, the situation coming to an end. Since its initial development, the RPD model has been successfully applied in a variety of fields, including, but not limited to, the military, first responders, aviation, and athletics. Basically, if you work in any environment that includes things like time pressure or dynamic conditions, if you routinely deal with vague or shifting goals, then you can benefit from learning more about RPD. You can benefit by learning how the model is used to improve your performance and accelerate expertise. Understandably, the purpose of this video was only to provide a brief introduction. If you would like to learn more, I've placed some resources down in the description. I would also recommend reading the book Sources of Power, written by Dr. Klein. In the book, he explains the RPD model in depth and shares a number of ways to get the most out of the model.